welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, if editing Angie has remembered, you're currently watching me in black and white. So if the thumbnail, the title and the description haven't already given you a clue, this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. However, instead of this being a two-way collab with myself and one other person, we're doing a triple. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The official bitches of Eastwick, I'll explain that later, are here for your viewing pleasure. Said bitches are myself, Anya, also known as Pink Sweets, and Nona from hashtag my so called life 1977. So, if you want to see exactly what looks all three of us create, which picture is our inspiration? And how this looks in a glorious technicolour. My friend, you are in precisely the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack. Put your feet up and enjoy. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Um, hopefully the intro is in black and white. I've remembered every time so far, but there's going to be one time that I forget. <laughs> um, advance warning, you may hear the lawnmower occasionally because it's Bank Holiday Monday in the UK and hubby is mowing the lawn. Now, I would have told you in the intro that I haven't filmed yet that today is the continuation of my fellow actually here comes hubby to empty one of the grass things say hi on your way through babe hello see free for you does actually exist um yeah this is a continuation of my photo collaboration series but for the first time it's a three-way collab Oh yes, oh yes, three people, one photograph, three looks, ha ha. Now, to tell you how this all came about, um, I'll probably tell you that while I'm doing my face. Um, as always, my films are aimed at all skill levels, so if I'm going too slowly for you, just speed me up, okay? Yeah. Now, Anya has chosen the photo and it is this photo here of this gorgeous octopus I don't know if he's in his garden under the sea but he is indeed an octopus and I have him and my phone just here see so as you can see from said picture that I've not edited in yet see you in a I'll be back through again um, to explain to you, uh, we, we have to bring grass clippings and stuff through the house because you can't actually get round the side anymore. Yes, so as you can see the octopus is lots of shades of blue, a little bit of green, some pink and some purple. So, because I've not played with her for a little while, I thought I'd get my blue blood back out again. Right, let's get you zoomed in. Um, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. And all I've got on my eyes so far is um, MAC, soft like a paint pot. My brain completely went there, I do apologise. Right, I'm going to start off with this Luxie Tapered Blending Brush 205. It is clean, it's just stained from the last time I used Blue Blood, I think. Oops. Um, I'm going to start going in. I'm going to start with I'm Cold, build it up with Blue Tea. 
Um, and I might stick some entitled in there as well. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to bung some blues on my eyes, okay? Now, the way this whole collab came about, I've done photo collabs with both Anya and Nona from hashtag my so called life 1977. Um, and the three of us get on ridiculously well. It really is great. Um, I'm just patting this on to start with before I start blending because I've not set the base yet so I'm actually setting it with a colour which will help increase the oomph of colour as I build the, uh, the look up. Um, I don't go completely into tutorial mode when I'm doing this but I do sometimes drop the odd explanation in. Yeah, so Anya and myself were discussing the round two that we were going to do. Um, and she chose this particular picture. Um, and I'd just done my collab, my first collab with Nona. And um, I was chatting away with Anya. Nona had put a video up, not naming any names. But she was really, really hurt at the way somebody, a larger YouTuber, had reacted when she'd asked them to collab. And it was someone that she'd followed for a while and she'd commented on regularly. Um, and I thought, mm, yeah girl, I know that feeling. Because I'd had two people, effectively. One of them ghosted me, but she has since messaged and uh, explained the situation and apologised. So I don't mind watching her stuff again now. But the other one was just plain rude um, when I asked about collabing really really rude um, and it wasn't a private message either it was a message that I'd written I, I put a comment on one of her films um, adding into that comment that I'd love to collab with her and uh, yeah so anyway Anya, I was chatting to Anya because I know that she's very close with Nona as well and I'm like have you seen Nona's video you, you know is she okay have you spoken to her and she's like, yeah, I've spoken to her, I know who it is too. And I'm like, oh my god, you're kidding. Tell me who, because if it's somebody that's upset now, I don't want to be following them, basically. And she said, oh, it is somebody that you follow. I'm like, okay, you need to tell me who it is. She went, no, but if you guess, I'll tell you if you get it right. Okay. Oh, well, that's fair enough. So I mentioned the name of the person that had been, that I'd followed for probably a good nine, ten months getting on towards the year that I'd followed her I'd commented on pretty much every single one of her videos um, because I'm UK and she's American I wasn't always one of the first ones but there were times when with my pain insomnia I was awake at ridiculous hours of the day and um, was one of the first few to comment and she regularly liked my comments, so it wasn't that she hadn't seen them. She may not have responded to all of them, but she regularly liked my comments. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, lovely. Which is why I felt reasonably confident in putting the comment where I'd spoken to her. You know. And um, and you just sent back, yep, got it in one. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay. And it turns out, that this particular person had been uh, pretty damn rude to Anya as well. So the three of us were kind of, we'd all been hurt by the same YouTuber, put it that way. We'd all been either spoken down to or had that person be rude to or about us. Um, so to try and cheer Nona up, I'm like, do you know what? sod that particular person we are going to be the bitches of Eastwick but I'm going to be Cher because I sing her songs on karaoke sometimes you can fight out between you as to who's Susan Sarandon and, and Goldie Hawn but I'm, I'm being Cher okay and it made the two girls laugh um, and then Anya messaged me and said you know our collab that we're doing round two and I'm like yeah she went should we ask Nona in on it as well I'm like oh, that's a bloody brilliant idea three-way collab so 
This is the first outing of the Bitches of Eastwick. Um, and we have got another collab planned very, very soon, which is not a photo collaboration. It's a completely different kind of collab. So, yay. Okay, so as you can see, I've built that up on both eyes. That's I am cold. I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth to clean the brush off. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with... Do you know what? I'm not sure if there's those blues in there are bright enough for what I want. This is my problem with this particular palette. You look at it and you think, oh, there's so many blues. Yeah, there are, but the majority of them are mid or deeper tones. There's no real bright neon blue, which is missing a neon blue and it's missing a light shimmery blue as well. Which is annoying. But I shall continue. I'm going to go into Blue Blood. And I'm going to continue to build this blue up on my eyes. Yeah, it's, um, it's the late May bank holiday. In the UK. And uh, although my birthday was the 1st of May. Because I wasn't very well the day that my birthday was due to happen. The birthday meal was due to happen, I should say. Uh, we went out as a family last night, which was really lovely. Went out to the Harvester. Not the restaurants are available. Um, we love it there. Hubby loves their red devil sauce. And I just love being able to fill up on the salad bar, basically. Red devil sauce. As you can tell, he's just coming to the Ooh. kitchen. Hello there. Hey, baby. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Why are you grabbing gloves? Have you got nettles or something to no, do with? No, I have got... I'm going to put these over some of the uh, exposed screw caps. It's like a liquid metal stuff. Oh. Stop, yeah, it's not anybody trying to ever unscrew them. Let's hope we don't lose the key or uh, forget to... Oh, the padlock then. Yeah, that's a very good point. I never lose any keys. Okay. That's right. We always cut the padlocks off. Yeah, so, but, you know... I, can do that. I love the way you stood there and went, oh yeah, yeah hadn't yeah. thought of that. No, I hadn't indeed. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in a bit. Love you. Love you. Actually, he's, he's right. He can come home absolutely drunk as a skunk and he's still got his keys and his mobile and his wallet on him. I don't know how he does it. Anyway, yeah, we went out last night for a meal, which was really lovely. And uh, I got a late birthday present. I'd, I'd got birthday present from mum at the beginning of well, mother-in-law, mum, at the beginning of the month. Um, and she'd got me another one, which was, um, it's like tarot cards, but it's angel cards. So I'm going to have fun. Once I've edited this film and I've got it exporting, because it'll take a few hours to export, I'm going to uh, have some fun looking through those. I've, I've got some tarot cards upstairs, but I've never been able to read for myself. I can read for other people, but I can never read for myself. So I've kind of got out of the habit and forgotten half the things that I mean I need to look them up now all the time. But uh, I'm wondering if the angel cards might be slightly different, perhaps. So I keep sitting back and looking, because obviously your eyes are not symmetrical. So I'm just checking that they look... The, the, the shaping of the colour looks the same because you can see you can see slightly more of it this side when my brows are relaxed than this side so I need to bring this side up a little bit more so yes I love the harvester though I will admit I ended up having a burger because it had uh, long claws and stilton in it and I love blue cheese Ah, <laughs> blue cheese, blue blood. 
Oh, bit. Hmm. Yes, so as I was saying, I've collabed with um, Anya and Nona before. And I love both of them. They are just such lovely women. They really are. It's like, I wish we weren't separated by the Atlantic Ocean because they're both the kind of women that I could picture myself ringing up and going, right, you come down for coffee and a catch up. You know. Just the kind of the kind of women that you want to sit across your kitchen table with and put the world to right, you know what I mean? That's what they are. So but yes, we are now officially the bitches of Eastwick. So I'm looking forward to doing lots of different three-way collabs with them. I think that's gonna be fun. And of course the whole point of my photo collaboration series, if this is the first one that you're seeing, uh, I think I'm happy with that depth of colour. I'm going to clean the brush off again. The whole point of this series is that you take one picture and all the previous collaborations are two people, myself and one other person. This is the first three-way collab that I've done. Um, and it's just to see how different the looks can be. The only rules are you can only use colours in the picture. So unlike with um, makeup bingo where you can add other colours in you can't do that with this you can only use a colour if it appears in the picture but you don't have to use all the colours if you don't want to which gives you a little bit more flexibility right I'm going to grab uh, let's get this one this again, this is the problem with white bristles, they stain like buggery. This is a Morphe M562 and I'm going to go in with, I think a little bit of flourishing which is the greeny blue because I want to pick up some of the green that's on the front of that octopus. I'm just going to... some of that on this outer edge here. I'm going to need a different brush than that. I'm going to go in with a Morphe M321. And just pat some of this flourishing in. Going about halfway along the eye. And bringing it up to that top corner. Because I want it to sort of almost be like a straight line. And I just want it to be a hint of the green. Because you only get a hint of the green in the picture. So, yes, if you've got any. Um, photos or ideas that you would like to see myself, Nona and Anya collab on, do let any one of us know. Because uh, we're all up for a bit of a challenge. Nona's just starting to get into colour. For me, pushing my comfort zone is neutrals. For her, pushing her comfort zone is colour. But she's really getting into colour. She did an absolutely gorgeous look where she did blue eyes with um, a metallic brown lipstick. And I liked it so much. I did something similar when I went out that weekend. So, yay. I always get more fallout this side because this eye got pulled around a lot when I was five, six years old. Because um, it's the eye that I've gone blind in, basically. So it was pulled around an awful lot as a child at the ophthalmic hospital. Which is why I always do my eyes before my base, because then I can always use micellar water if it doesn't want to dust away. Right, going back to this Morphe M562. I'm just going to take the flourishing off of it. Oh, well, it's next door's kids are now shouting. 
and hoping I don't start swearing. <clears throat> um, do I want to add any more of these blues? I don't really want to darken it down. So no, let's close blue blood for a minute. And I'm going to go into one of my Oh My Glitter OMG palettes. This is the Lexicon palette. How beautiful is she? I have got a discount code and a link you can use. Lexicon's 40 quid. She's all handmade, she's all vegan. My lights are washing these out, probably easier if I show you the name card. Um, and you can choose the colours on the front for yourself too, which is awesome. So I'm going to go into Hmm. I'm going to go into this one this side, but I think it's not in its right place because according to the card it should be a green one called Witch Please. Confusing. But anyway, I shall go into that one, whatever it's called. And pick some of this up. That. Isn't that lovely? And I'm also going to come into this one here, which is also, I think, misnamed because I think, unless it's a duochrome, it could be a duochrome. So I'm going to do a combination of those two shadows together and I'm going to waggle it through my crease. Now if you've got hooded lids, I've got deep set eyes but, which a lot of people mistake for being hooded but you can see all of my mobile lid from inner corner to outer corner and my eyes are open. It's only hooded if the upper lid covers the bottom lid. Otherwise, you've got deep set eyes. Um, I do get similar issues of colours transferring up onto the upper crease. Um, if you do have hooded eyes, all you need to do, where I've followed the physical shape of my eye socket to create this crease here, you just need to create it a little bit further up on your static lid to give the illusion of having a visible mobile lid. Obviously that will reduce the space between here and here, so just use finer brushes. So I'm just literally just sweeping that from side to side. And then the tiniest little circles I can manage holding the brush right at the end. Tiniest, tiniest little circles I can manage. Just to soften the edges without blending it up the eye. Because all we want to do is give some depth back to the eye because anything dark recedes so it's especially useful if you're doing a fake crease um, because it will give the illusion that your eye is going back in at that point. I can show you easier on the other eye because I can actually close that eye. Obviously if I close this one I'm not going to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. So. Going back into those two shadows again and doing the same this side. Going from side to side to side to side. Now with this one, because I have got super deep creasing here, I do have to gently stretch the lid out to blend that bit because otherwise um, I either get like tiger striping or it'll skim over the top or what's worse is when it fills the crease up and then as I move my eye during the day I get little showers of pigment that's just been sitting in the crease and hasn't actually been blended. 
So, tiny, tiny little circular movements just to soften the edges but not to take it up the eye at all. Yeah, I've known Oh My Glitter for a long time. I've actually got a lipstick named after me called Bomalicious, which is a stunning lipstick, I have to say. It's one of our liquid lipsticks. I'm nearly out though, unfortunately. Um, she hasn't got any in stock at the moment, but I have asked her because I'm wearing more um, bullet lipsticks recently. I've asked her if she'll recreate it for me in bullet form. So she's going to have a look back through her records and see what pigments she used and see if they see if they'll work in bullet format. So that's exciting. I mean, I've been buying from Oh My Glitter for years and years and years and years and years. And years. Way back when her pigment pots looked like this, and then she moved on to pigment pots that looked like this. And now she has her pigment pots that look like this. So yeah, I've been I've been ordering from her for a very long time indeed, and I can definitely definitely recommend her work. Um, but then I wouldn't take on. Sorry. It's okay, darling. <laughs> I wouldn't take on a discount code from a company if I hadn't already tried. To their products and we're happy with them. Um, I've actually got a film up, Can You Trust Me, which shows you the kind of due diligence that I do before I take on any, any kind of discount code at all. So I'm going to go into a pigment called Ouija which looks like it could be a dual crime, but I could be wrong. I'm just going to pop this just on this outer edge here. It's kind of a bluey, purpley, browny dual chrome, which I think will pick up nicely, not just on the purple of the, well, the purple and the blue of the octopus, but also of the background colour as well. As I said, we all get drawn by different parts of the, uh, the image. Tell them what you're looking for. It's alright, I've got it. Okay. I've got some drinks and stuff because I'm going to move some things around in the, uh, oh, your man in the storage cave. thing now. Now I've got now I've got a space in the middle. Oh, the storage. Oh, yeah, because we go to Sam's Barbecue, didn't we? Yeah. There we go. Alright love, we'll see you later. See you later. We've got a cacophony of sheds in our back garden. We started off with just one, which is like a standard shed for your gardening equipment and you know lawn stuff like tables and chairs and umbrellas and things. And um, then when we got the kitchen redone, there wasn't because all of the cabinets the wall cabinets used to be a lot deeper than the new ones are, so a lot of the stuff that I'd got wouldn't fit into the new cupboard, the new kitchen. But I had to have it done because my mobility went and I just couldn't bend over to the oven anymore. I had to have an eye level oven. So, yeah, I've got a shed down the garden full of stuff like my nan's old crockery. You know, things I don't want to get rid of, but that I don't use on an everyday basis anymore. I just come out for high days and holidays basically. Sorry, that, that little smudge there was really bugging me. Um, and, and then when Hubby moved, well, Hubby has his man cave at his mum's place <laughs> called the uh, Shed of Dreams because he goes up there and dreams about things and sets the world to rights and stuff. I don't really know what it gets up to in there to be honest. Apart from playing psychedelic music, burning incense and 
To be quite honest, probably drinking too much. Uh, I'm going to go in with this Revolutions Reloaded Marvellous Mattes because I want to use that pink. Yes, um, so he had the Shed of Dreams at his mum's and he's like, can I do one here? I'm like, what? A shed? He went, yeah, I'm like, God, we've already got two sheds in the garden. He's like, oh, go on, please. And I'm like, oh, do you know what? You can have one so long as it's not boring. What do you mean? I said, well, I get bored seeing the outside of sheds being brown or green or, I mean, my, my shed with all my nan's kitchen stuff in is painted lilac, for example. So, uh, <clears throat> the Tiki Shack, which is what it's called at uh, our place, is painted up to look like a, if you're a UK uh, viewer, you'll know these sweets refreshers lolly uh, if I if I can find one I'll put a picture up here now of his shed uh, but it's basically pink yellow and green stripes and on the inside he's got it all swagged out with um, tribal wall hangings and things and Ganesh and he's got plenty of Buddhas around the place all kinds of things down there. And my Nan's 1950s homemaker unit that he absolutely fell in love with. Which obviously wouldn't work in the kitchen once it had been redone. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to go in, this is... Oh, apparently this is a brush with no name. But it's basically a flat packer brush or sometimes it's used as a concealer brush. And I'm going to go into this hot pink. I like doing kind of an all matte with a twist because obviously the bit through here has got a little bit of shimmer but then I'm going back onto a matte for the lid but I might go over that with some pale pink shimmer I haven't decided yet and I'm not wetting this and I'm not cutting the crease or anything I'm just literally popping this hot pink matte on the two thirds of the lid that so far doesn't have any colour or didn't have any colour on it I should say I've got myself a little mirror here so I can see what I'm doing because viewfinder's quite a long way away and if I bend down to the stand mirror that I've got like this you're going to get a really nice picture of this but you're not really going to see what I'm doing And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. But obviously I do need to stretch this one out. So I can't use the little mirror. I'm going to have to wing and a prayer it basically. Oh. Oh, I wonder if the War and Peace show is on. That definitely sounds like a World War II bomber out there. Possibly a Lancaster. It's very low anyway. Much lower than a commercial aircraft flies. So it could be. Look at the fallout. Jeepers. You can avoid that by spraying the brush if you want. Or having eyelids that are not 45 years old also helps. Yeah, there's a... Um, there's a farm not too far from where I live that very often does a war and peace show over the bank holiday weekends. Where they get all the old military vehicles and stuff. And you very often see all kinds of World War II planes flying over, which is really quite nice. But uh, that bit of history is not being forgotten, you know. Right, okay. I am 
Am I going to put any lighter on over the top? I, don't think, I think I'm going to leave it as it is for the minute and I'll see how I feel when I do the rest of it. Right, I'm going to pause you now and I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my foundation, etc. And uh, I will be back to finish this eye look off with you. So I will see you, well, right now for you. Hey, I'm back. Um, I did decide to go over the pink and what I used was this uh, Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Holy Glow Fantasy which is actually a highlighter palette and I just used that pink uh, just to add a bit of oomph 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 because when, when I'd done my brows that was too close in colour to the purple of my brows so I wanted to give it a bit of oomph Right. Now I'm going to grab a flat top brush like so and I'm going to go into the purple in here which is called uh, Fairy Jewel and the pink that I used was Unicorn Glow. So I'm just going to dip the very tip of the brush into that purple and I'm going to run that really tie it up underneath my bottom lashes fading it out as I come towards the tear duct I'm going to continue just up the side of this dewy chromey bit that we did just to continue that purple because my eyes have been so watery lately with my fibro and with hay fever I'm not able to do winged liner because it's just even the waterproof wing liners are not coping so what I'm doing instead is continuing the bottom shade just slightly up like this and it just gives the it gives the same illusion of elongating the eye and giving a more cat like shape so if you're struggling with winged liner I do have a five minute or ten minute winged liner tutorial in my mini tutorial playlists um, where I'm really up close and I show you the two different ways that I apply it, one with my eye open, one with my eye closed um, but if you're still struggling or like me hay fever is really not your friend this is an alternate option which will give you the same illusion of the eye being pulled out and up. Obviously depending on your eye shape you may need to do a slightly different angle but you're best off just playing with that one evening when you haven't got makeup on and just playing around and working out which shapes work best for you. Now I'm going back into that pink, what was it called, Unicorn Glow. And this is a thicker flat top brush. And I'm just going to buff that along just underneath the purple to soften the harshness of that line and to tie it in to the pink that I used on my upper lid. This is a really cheap lip brush that I bought off of eBay years ago. Going back into the Lexicon palette, and I'm going to go into Spellbound. I'm just going to pop this onto the inner corner here. And bring it down to meet the purple and just blend the two together. This is um, a pinky white dual chrome in the Lexicon palette. I 
and my eyes are both starting to water now which is really not helpful and I'm going to use the same colour just up under the tail of my brow to give the illusion of a higher brow, a more prominent brow um, which gives the face a more youthful look because your brows do tend to sink as you get older apparently so by popping some highlight just under the tail of your brow it can give the illusion of a more opened eye so I will pause you one more time I'm going to use the same shade that I used here and here for the rest of my highlight, I'm going to put some lipstick and some mascara on. I'm going to try and see if I can get my eyes to stop watering and I'll be back for the final look. Hey, I'm back. My hair seems to have gone 1980s on me. That's because I mentioned Bitches of Eastwick, isn't it? It's, it's Cher circa 1984, isn't it? Thankfully, wear more clothes than Cher does, or did back then, or does now even. Anyway. So, as you can see, I chucked more highlight on everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. The lippy that I've used is one of my Omo glitters, as I use Lexicon, uh, and this is the shade Just Kissed. And I named this shade, because it is the colour that your lips go when they're, if you, my, my skin tone, you, when your lips fill with blood, when you've had a damn good kissing. So I thought Just Kissed was appropriate, and one of the things I love about this magnetic packaging. Honestly I could sit and play with that for hours. Um, setting spray of course is my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. I'm nearly out of watermelon. Soon time to start a different uh, scent or flavour or whatever. Um, have a discount code for Gerard Cosmetics as well. They're all listed in my description box down below so that's fine. But this is my interpretation of the octopus picture chosen by the beautiful Anya for her, myself and Nona to do the first ever three-way photo collaboration inspiration. So what do you think? Is this an adequate representation of the picture? Would you have done it differently? If so, let me know in the comments box how you would have done it, what colours you would have chosen. And, of course, now that you've finished watching and liking and commenting on mine and checking you are still subscribed because YouTube are unsubscribing people. I lost six people last week. Six of them. Four of them have since resubscribed and said to me, I don't know what happened, they unsubscribed me. So the other two either really didn't like my content last week or uh, I haven't realised yet that they've been uh, excommunicated by YouTube. But, just checking, I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Now that you've finished watching my film, there are of course many others in my playlists that you can watch but before you watch those you need to pop across and watch Anya's film and Nona's film. Now so far in this series every single look that's been done has been very different so now this is the first three-way collab how different will the three looks be? Will theirs be similar? Will mine be similar to one of theirs? Or are we all still going to produce three unique looks? The only way to find out, Pop It, is to watch all three films. Right. Now that that is all said and done, all that remains for me to say as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time.
Bye for now.